Welcome to Gardening with Ducking Good Life. Subscribe now to keep up to date on what to plant. Are you wondering what to plant in May for Zones 9 and 10? Well, you're in the right place. Zones 9 and 10, for those who might be unsure, include Central and South Florida, Southeast and Coastal Regions of California, Southern Regions of Texas and Louisiana, and most of Hawaii. These growing regions are characterized by their mild winters and long, hot summers, making May the ideal time to start sowing seeds for a lush summer harvest. In this video, we're going to delve into the specifics of planting various crops in these zones. We'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on when to plant and how to care for each crop. From the tangy taste of tomatoes to the sweet crunch of corn, we've got you covered. Think about it, with the right knowledge and a little bit of effort, you could be serving up a salad entirely from your own backyard this summer. So, are you ready to get your hands dirty and start planting? First up, we have the dynamic duo, tomatoes and potatoes. May is a prime time to plant these garden staples in zones 9 and 10. Let's kick off with tomatoes. When it comes to variety, consider heat-tolerant types like creoles or husky red cherry tomatoes as they can withstand the warm summer months typical of these zones. Now, on to potatoes. May is the perfect window to plant these versatile vegetables. Look for varieties that thrive in warmer climates like Yukon Golds and Red Lasotas. You'll want to plant your potatoes in a spot that gets full sun and has well-draining soil. Timing is crucial for both crops. Plant too early and the seedlings could succumb to late frosts. Plant too late and the heat of summer could stunt their growth. Maintaining the right conditions is just as important. Both tomatoes and potatoes love the sun, but they also need regular watering. Keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged. Remember, every garden is unique, so what works for one might not work for another. It's all about finding the right balance and adapting as needed. With the right care, you'll be enjoying fresh tomatoes and potatoes from your garden in no time. Next, let's dive into the world of eggplant, peppers, and squash. These vibrant crops are not just pleasing to the eye, but also offer a bounty of flavors to your summer dishes. Now, to successfully grow these, timing and care are crucial. Let's start with eggplants. Plant these beauties in May when the soil has warmed up nicely. They need a good six to eight hours of sunlight a day and well-drained soil rich in organic matter. Regular watering is essential, but be careful not to overdo it. Eggplants don't like soggy soil. Moving on to peppers, these heat-loving plants also appreciate a sunny spot in your garden. They prefer slightly acidic, well-drained soil. Regular watering is crucial, but again, avoid waterlogging the soil. A little tip, peppers are self-pollinating, but a little breeze can help them along. And finally, let's talk squash. These vigorous growers need plenty of space, so plant them about three feet apart. They adore sun and need well-drained, fertile soil. Watering should be deep and infrequent to encourage strong root growth. Remember, patience is key when growing these crops, but trust us, the wait will be worth it. Now let's tackle a variety of crops, including melons, celery, beans, sweet potatoes, and corn. Each of these plants has unique needs and rewards, so let's dive right in. Melons are a summer favorite that thrive in zones nine and 10. Plant these sweet treats in a sunny spot and give them plenty of room to sprawl. Water them deeply but infrequently to encourage their roots to grow strong and deep. And remember, patience is key with melons. They take their sweet time, but oh, the reward is worth it. Next up, we have celery. This crisp, refreshing vegetable prefers cooler temperatures, so plant it in a spot that gets morning sun but afternoon shade. Keep the soil consistently moist, and you'll have crunchy celery stalks in no time. Beans are a versatile crop that can be grown in a variety of ways. Whether you prefer bush beans or pole beans, they'll need well-drained soil and at least six hours of sunlight each day. Keep the soil moist, but avoid watering the leaves to prevent disease. Sweet potatoes are a hearty, nutritious crop that loves the warm weather in zones nine and 10. Plant them in loose, well-drained soil and give them plenty of space to grow. They're drought tolerant, so you don't need to water them too frequently. Last but not least, we have corn. This classic summer crop needs plenty of space and sunlight. Plant your corn in blocks rather than rows to ensure good pollination. Water deeply and regularly and you'll be enjoying fresh, sweet corn on the cob in no time. With these crops, your garden will not only look beautiful, but it will also provide you with fresh, delicious produce all summer long. Now that we've covered what to plant in May for zones 9 and 10, 
Let's quickly recap. We started by discussing tomatoes and potatoes. These two plants are a great choice for May planting as they thrive in the warm summer conditions of zones nine and 10. Make sure to give them the love and care they need and they will reward you with a bountiful harvest. Next, we talked about eggplant, peppers, and squash. These versatile vegetables are perfect for a summer garden. They require a bit of attention, but the result is worth every bit of effort. Don't forget to water them regularly and keep an eye out for pests. We then moved on to melons, celery, beans, sweet potatoes, and corn. These crops are somewhat more demanding, but they can bring a lot of diversity to your garden. Remember, each of these plants has its own specific needs, so make sure to cater to them accordingly. But let's not forget that gardening isn't just about the harvest. It's about the joy of nurturing, the satisfaction of watching something grow from a tiny seed to a thriving plant. It's about connecting with nature and learning to appreciate the simple things in life. So, whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, we hope this guide has given you some ideas for your May planting in zones nine and 10. Remember, every plant you sow is a step towards a greener, healthier, and more beautiful world. We hope this guide helps you make the most of your May planting. Remember, gardening is not just about the harvest, but also about the joy of nurturing and watching your plants grow. Happy gardening and like and subscribe to Ducking Good Life for more.